Oh, you women. can wear a crown, but I can't wear a dashiki. I mean, you can wear a dashiki. <laughs> um, I get one too. You got your crown. I want a dashiki too. You see, stingy. Uh. Girl Michaela. Hold on, what? You. You really don't hate wear, you, I'm not. You just gonna wear that? Yes. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Marcus. And we are back with another video. Yep. As y'all can see, we are doing a review on coming to America. And I'm here for it. I'm going to Zamunda. They called me up. They said, Michaela, you are a bastard cousin. And I'm going, me and Marcus are going. But before we start, if you have not seen this movie, push pause. Go that way. Where they going? Go watch the movie. Where? And Amazon Prime. Yep. And then come back. But what she forgot to tell you is before you leave, Head down there, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Boop. Hit the bell icon Ding. so you can get notifications whenever we drop this heat. Heat. And leave a comment and say I'll be right back. Leave a comment. Yeah, just let us know. Yeah, yeah. So, now that you're back, or for those that have seen the movie, uh, we're not gonna run through the whole thing, you know, we're just gonna nah. touch on some things that you may have not realized, some things we like, what we didn't like, just our overall opinion nope. on this movie. Yep. Yep. I mean, so, if you've seen the movie, what do you that's for? Right. But we're going to tell you the stuff that you didn't notice. Right. And just our opinion, because everybody, I mean, we have great opinions. That's all that matters is our opinion. Yeah. Yeah. No. But, no? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. First off, I love this movie. Um, first thing that hit me that I was super happy to see was just the cast in general. It was a star-studded cast. Had to be. It's coming to America. Right. Just surprises Two. everywhere. Um, Rick Ross oh. was up in there. Well, I was I'm trying to get the beer line up here. Oh. That's not going to happen right oh. now. Oh. Okay. Tell them what they didn't know about Rick Ross. Rick Ross, first of all, he has a horrible African accent. Horrible, yeah. We did not like that. <laughs> like, what? Like, really, bruh? Really? And then I'm like, how did Rick Ross make his way into this movie? Mm hmm. But then I found out. What'd you find out, baby? You know the castle? That's his house. That is Rick Ross's house. She thought it was all cap. I did. I looked it up. I said, ah, he didn't look that up right. CNN.com. <laughs> CNN ain't lying. The palace is that brother's house. I see you. Major mm -hmm. Flex Rick Ross. Major. And we were like, why has he got a crown on in the last scene when they're uh, it's his house. celebrating the wedding? <laughs> it, it's his house. He yeah. can do what he wants. That's when we're like, oh, okay. Well, it's his house. So he, he can wear what he wants in his house. He was part of anybody's royal court. He was part mm -hmm. of the next Dordia army. Yes, which next was Doria, next Doria. Next Doria Army. He was like a lieutenant. Something. Yes. And along with him was Michael Blackston yep. and Next Doria. Yep. That was good to see. You know, he's funny. And Wesley Snipes, the general of West Doria. I mean, excuse me, Next Doria. <laughs> he did that. He did. He did so good. We haven't seen him in decades. And wasn't Blade his last movie? I don't know. I can't even tell you what the last movie it wasn't, was. But. Oh. <laughs> that was the last one I saw. Um, that wasn't his last movie, but for him to be gone forever and to come back like that, and he looked good. He looked good. That's my mama's uh, crush. So I see why. He looked good. I'm gonna tell you who looked good. Yes. You know who looked good. Who looked good? Tiana Taylor, y'all. She killed her role too. Now her accent was on point. I liked her accent. Prince uh, Lavelle, he thinks that he should have stayed with Tiana, but. He should have. Here's the thing. So he wanted his girl to have a personality, right? Right. He wanted her to have thoughts of her own, right? All right. he had to do was tell her, think like, think for yourself. But that might, do not, whatever. that might not have been possible because she has been trained or raised to think that way. It's kind of hard to revert that back. We'll figure it out. We're gonna 
figure it out. Anyway, <laughs> so you want to pick Tiana over me? You weren't in a movie. I'm just saying, but if it was me, Marimba, I think was her name, that Lavelle ended up marrying. Marimba. 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 Mar okay, whatever. Me, mm. Michaela. See, his name just fits. I'm meant to be in Zamunda. Um, <laughs> if you had to pick between Tayana Taylor and me, someone that's thinking for themselves and not hopping, hopping up and down on one foot. Mm -hmm. She wasn't hopping down on one foot. I know, but if you had to pick between me and her, who are you going to pick? I mean, that's easy. I'm picking you. Comment below if you think he's telling the truth, because I don't think he's telling the truth. But that's fine. But Tiana Taylor did kill it. She was gorgeous. And it was nice to see Ro Timmy as her brother. Hey! Yes, he came through too. He had little small parts, but he was memorable. That mm -hmm. was great. Yeah, um, who else did we see? Trevor Noah. I did not know that. Anchorman for ZNN. Yes, I had no. CNN, CNN. I get it oh, now. <laughs> ZNN, ZNN. Oh, okay. But I did not know that was him at first. I didn't recognize with him him with his afro and mustache. I was like, who was that? And then we looking through the reviews and stuff and seeing who's what. I was like, oh, that's Trevor. How do you not recognize his voice? I did not. He had a little accent too. He's from South Africa. I know, but I didn't recognize him. So if you didn't know that was Trevor Noah, that was Trevor Noah. I found out. Excuse me, my crown. You gotta keep straight. Gotta keep straight. Um, <laughs> and what else? I loved the funeral. Look. I'm trying to go out like that. Look. I've already told her that's how I'm going out. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'll it. I'll put it in my will. It's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna get it happen. together. Well, if I die, well, if you die first. But so I can go out like that. Yes, I'm down first. I gotta have a funeral like that. Okay, that makes me sad, but okay. But the funeral <laughs> was amazing. First off, Morgan Freeman. Yep, he's gonna be at my funeral. I'm trying to have Morgan Freeman narrate my whole life. You hear me? Um, in Vogue came out with Salt and Pepper. I did not like their dresses. What? I did not like in Vogue's dresses. Oh, I know what that oh, was. Oh, like a big old cloth. What? Big old pieces of cloth. Look like they just rolled up the cover off the bed. I didn't like it. Um, salt and pepper, they looked good. Uh, salt, you got a little thicker, but Sorry. you know it's okay. Sorry. I think Peppa, she lost weight because she used to be a little thicker too. So she lost some weight, so kudos to you for that. They both thicker than they were when the song came out. Uh, yeah. Not a problem, though. No, like they still look said, good. They look good with it. They, look mm -hmm. good. they, they had the original with. outfit song that was cute. Yep. And I'm glad it's nice. She 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 came out looking like she was the queen. Yes. Even though she is the queen. Yes, with her entourage. She had an African. She had the African choir. Yes. That was cold. It they was. did that king wrong though. They did. They did. Even the queen was poking fun at them for not having a dog. I mean, not having a son. Yeah. Mm. They they went hard on a pain on that period. What's even the point? They said, if you, "What's even the point?" Yes. Ain't nothing wrong with three daughters. My daddy had two daughters, and <laughs> ain't nothing wrong. Um, <laughs> he didn't have no siblings. I'm sorry, Mr. Hardy. Anyways, but the funeral was great, and then they did the little remix of the songs, and Vogue, and Vogue did, what a king, what a king, what a king, what a mighty good yep. king. And then Gladys Knight did on that midnight train from Zamunda. From Zamunda? It's from Zamunda. Is it from Zamunda? Yes. You want to put $2 on it? Yes. Because is it midnight train from Georgia or midnight train to Georgia? It's to Georgia, so but he was, be... he was dying. It's from Zamunda. On that midnight train from Zamunda. We're going to settle this right here. Fine. Right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep on. Keep on. No, we're going to wait. We're going to keep on talking to the people. No. Nope. They don't want to just wait for this. Get them a business. I mean, it's on the screen. It's on the screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Let's go ahead and pop that up on the screen. <laughs> on that midnight train from Zamunda. Did y'all see that? Yeah. Oh, shoot, I went they off They can't see it. Oh. Look, she's right. She's right. Uh-uh, they didn't see it. I'm going to pop it up. I'm going to pop it up over here. I just said you're right. Okay, but I'm going to pop it up over here in the editing. <sighs> Give my $2. Midnight $2. train from Zamunda. Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it, people? Mm. Try to doubt his queen, period. Yeah. Okay, um, so that was great. I loved how they remixed the songs. Um, I did not like, the one song I did not like. I know it's from Prince, but I wanted to hear him, when he took that gold mic, I wanted to hear him say, she's your queen. 
I needed that. I don't care if he's older now and he can't sing like that. I get that. That had nothing to do with it. I think it did. Um, it needed to be dubbed. Here's John Legend problem. did it at the end you, in the credits. You're missing two things. One, that didn't fit Tiana Taylor's character at all. Two. I don't care. Hold on. Two. She was coming to be his princess. He was the prince. So she's your queen. Doesn't fit. She's your princess. I needed to hear that. I don't care if they started out with that little piece uh, and then they went into the prince song. That's fine. Which I really could have lived without that. I didn't like the rapping. I didn't. I didn't what? like it. That's because that's because she completely overshadowed him. He he could have left that to just be dubbed or something. He didn't have to. He could have let Tiana do all of that. But she killed that. How y'all? She killed it because uh, she did kill it, but I didn't want it. It fits so well. I don't want it. See, she don't know the song. That's, she doesn't know the original song. She don't know the history. So she I don't do know, know why the original it fits so song. Well. I just couldn't tell What's what it, it was at What's first. I don't know. I don't know names of songs. <laughs> I know from Men I Trained from Zamunda. That's not the original song. I know. I know the song, though. No. Mm. Knew what it said. Mm. You caught that one. You right. You did. You, you got that. Um, I could live without it. Obviously, he liked it. I think because of Tiana Taylor. Yeah. Okay. Mm, nah, I could have lived without that. Um, <laughs> some other things that y'all may have not known. Uh, Bella Murphy was, aka Eddie Murphy's daughter, was Princess Oma. And that was her first film debut, and she killed it. Well, she did. It's Eddie Murphy's daughter. She killed it. She was so cute. Now, which one was she? She was the little one, the middle one, the, the middle oldest one. one? The middle one. She was the middle one, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, when I found out his daughter was in there, I really thought it was gonna be the oldest one. No. And something that Marcus noticed too about the younger cast. All the kids are new. They're new. all new. I like that. I like the fact that he brought in some new blood and they're already working on coming to America 3. Yep. Already. Yep. Which I guess is a good sign when this comes out on Amazon Prime and it's the number one movie in the country. Number one Mary America, excuse me. Number one Number one movie in America. Yes. So Sorry. that's huge. Yeah. And for them to come out and this their debut on a number one uh movie in America, that's 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 amazing. That's big. That's, that's big. So huge. Good job to them. Good, good job to them. Yes. They definitely, I was I was questioning it when I first saw it. I was like, you gonna put all these new folks in this iconic movie? But I mm -hmm. get it, they killed it. Mm -hmm. They deserved their spot, they earned it. It did, and it was good to see Leslie Jones, um, Lavelle's mom, she played Mary. She killed this role. This she is my did. favorite role of hers. She was so ratchet. She was ratchet, but <laughs> it hit. I was here for it. I loved it. I hope you like a pumpkin pie, cause you gonna get a whole slice. Um, and I love seeing Tracy Morgan. That was good to see him. I They're gonna sharpen your tool, nephew. <laughs> Speaking of that, I think that was one of the most craziest scenes, in our opinion, was when he was trying to prove that he was worthy to be Prince and he was being taken through those tests. But yeah. that last one. They had a line for that potato. Yes, where they said that he uh, needs to get. Mm. Recircumcised? Yeah. Y'all know it's not possible to get recircumcised. So, and no then, way. I wouldn't have done it. I would have like, nah, I'm cool. He was about to do it. I'm not, mm -mm. He was gonna do it. And then the witch doctor that played, who was Eddie Murphy also, as I'm sure y'all knew, um, ate that potato like it. We thought it was his uh, manhood. I said, oh, that was nasty. That was definitely the craziest scene. For I lost me. it. I lost it. Yeah. Didn't appreciate that at all. Yeah. They out of line for that. Eddie, yeah. you wrong for that, Eddie. And then, Creative though. I'm not getting nope. I'm not giving you any credit. None. You're wrong for that. Creative. You're wrong. Um, my thing is, where was my guy Daryl, Mr. Soul Glow? Oh, Daryl, Lisa McDowell's. Lisa ex McDowell's boyfriend, boyfriend from the first one. He could have been in this one. It would have been nice to see. But him. I see why he didn't. He told. He actually said no. He didn't want to do it. And I get it. They try to give him a commercial that was going to be in the background. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's funny though, because the concept was he was going to be doing an advertisement for this product called 
soul grow. He was gonna be bald, use the soul grow, and bow. Juicy Jerry Curls gonna pop out. That would have been funny. <laughs> but you're not gonna give me somebody who was a key character in the first one a background commercial? Nah, I'm cool. I think that if it would have popped up like um, ZNN, something like that, like that's it not how they were gonna do it. it I was, think they could have negotiated. I don't see why they wouldn't have let that happen. They already had the concept. They already had it done. You gonna be on the TV in the background, which Maybe. means some people probably wouldn't have even seen it. Well. Maybe he'll be in the third one because I would have liked to see him as well. He might be in the I wanted one. to see the older sister, the younger sister, also. Why wasn't she in it? Did we find that out? Uh, I, I don't, don't know why she did. wasn't in that one. Now the mom, she passed away, R.I.P. Yeah, yeah. So that's why she wasn't in there. But, but I like how did. they paid homage to her. Yeah, how they pay homage. So at the end, when 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 uh, Eddie's talking to Mr. McDowell, I'm sorry, Akeem is talking to Mr. McDowell. He's talking about uh, at the very end. He says, "Hey, Akeem." What would your mama say? You know, she's always been the wisest one. Yep. Yeah. And you know, Marcus noticed how the outfits were complimentary and- Yeah, so Eddie was wearing this, uh, I don't know what it was, it was clean, it was clean. I'm gonna try to find one of those. It was like silver and then had like the paisley, but the paisleys were gold, it was clean. And he had the hat too with the braiding and he, he kept it. Whoever did the costumes on this, I gotta go look yeah. that up. They killed it. They did. There was like, cheetah everywhere. That's why I'm ready. For no, not because of that. No, um, no, let me. The cheetah <laughs> was everywhere in the furniture, in the clothes, the guys and the women had on cheetah. Yes. Cheetah was everywhere. And I like the little head pieces that the hair was on point. Whoever did the wardrobe, hair, makeup, amazing. They killed that. They killed. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go find that dashiki when they announce him as Prince. Oh, yeah, on that, that was black nice. shaky with the gold and then the red socks. That was nice. Y'all think I'm playing? I'm doing a video with it. Mm -hmm. Her wedding dress. Oh, you can wear a crown, but I can't wear a dashiki. I mean, you can wear a dashiki. <laughs> um, I get one too. You got your crown. I want a dashiki too. You see, stingy. Uh, crown. I want to give you a crown too. Where's my crown? You should have got some more tomatoes on like I did. You said you would have given me one. Well, you should. I told him to go get. Anyways, we're not getting this. That. What they missed, my man Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, it would have been nice to see Samuel. He actually just, he ain't had time. Yeah, he Which said he Which means he must be have something, he must have something coming out. Huge. Because I'm. The, it's not like he would have been filming long. They wouldn't have gave him a long part, I don't think, so. But my thing is, I wish he was in there. So yeah. now, Sam, you better not disappoint me. You better drop some heat. Mm-hmm. Cause you want part of this? You better drop some heat, Sam. Maybe he's doing something with Marvel or DC or something. He probably is. Nick Fury. Yeah. So, it's all right, but coming to America 3, let's try to get Samuel L. in there. We're going to head and put in our request, our Kayla Martin request, being you got mail. Like, we need Eddie, that. I'm going to call you. I'm we need that. I'm, I'm just going to call you. Um... And I also liked, I don't know if you guys watched to the end, past the credits. You always got to watch past the credits because there's always no, surprises. I missed this. He she missed had to tell it. me about it. Um, while they're at the wedding still in the wedding scene, the barbershop um, character, the white one that Eddie plays. Is he white? What is he? I guess. He's white or whatever. He's uh, grabbed someone's dress next to him that he was sitting next to from Zamunda and said, is this velvet? And that was it. But that was funny. That's why you gotta watch past the credits. So that's another thing I liked about it. They brought back a lot of those old taglines. Mm -hmm. um, that boy good. Yeah. That back. Do it again. That boy good. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Yeah, I like that too. And John Legend, he did some singing at the end. Yeah. But one thing, another thing I liked was during those fi that final scene. Mm -hmm. Did you catch the conversation when he was? They were asking. She asked. Uh, oh, would you leave? Would all you leave this? all of this? And Go back nah. to Queens. Nah, yeah, they that, that, was that good back. Too. That was cool. That, that was, was cool. very cute. Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> overall, loved it, and I am giving a rating of nine. Nine. I'm gonna say nine point three, because mm -hmm. let me know. Be three. Yep. Yeah, we gotta explain it. I'm gonna listen to this. Because it gave me everything I needed, gave me cameos I wasn't expecting, gave me comebacks I wasn't expecting. Like, 
uh, peaches and sugar cube at the end <laughs> with um, sexual chocolate. That was cute. I wasn't expecting, like stuff like that. Like there was all kinds of surprises. The storyline made sense. It was just as good as the first Coming to America, in my opinion. I give it that 9.3 because like you said, I did want to see Samuel. I did. Um, I wish that they would have did that song. I'm sorry. I need, she is your queen, she is your princess. We needed some type of something. I did not like that. Um, so that's why I got 9.3 for me. When you came in at the high note, it's not what I wanted. You even had the down I don't care. I did yeah, not, I did not that want that. Oh, and, no, and it was, we can get those curtains up. And, uh, you open the curtains with the triangle. You, we'll take turns. She don't get up to like noon. I'll do on the weekends. You can do on the weekdays. I get five days, you get two. I get three. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You don't wake up early on Friday? I guess you're going to be waking up early on them days when I'm working <laughs> the curtains. Uh, but I liked how, you mean, forget what I was about to say. Oh, it was there. So the first Coming to America came out June 26, 1988. And so this one came out March 5th, 2021. And it's the 30th anniversary of Lisa and ha Hakeem. And it's my 30th birthday. It was my 30th birthday. And they put it on my birth. I feel like it was a sign. Because it was way over 30 years since the first one. What so sign? the sign was that this movie was made for me. I'm supposed to go to Zamunda. Because it was my 30th birthday. It was the 30th anniversary. You know, came out on my birthday. You know, stop by Wakanda on my way? Yeah, might as well. Okay. R.I.P. I mean, I knew it wasn't, but I'm just for in general. Anyways, what's your rating? You know, I, I, I give it a nine. Um, Why? One, I need a Samuel L in there. Yeah. I needed that. Yeah. And I needed, I needed my Soul Glow. I needed my Soul Glow fix. They had the Soul Glow package in they the background it. in the barbershop, but they, yeah, yeah. that was all. Oh, um, man. So, I mean, they tried it, but I also, I mean, it was a great movie great movie but I can't put it above the first one the first one I gave 10 and it might be nostalgia but hey coming to America got a 10 for me so coming to America got a 9 yeah and I'm just in general um I think this was just a great movie for me like it just made me happy to see it like it shows that okay we did this movie a long time ago but you know what we about to kill it again and that's what Eddie's doing right about now I mean the last thing he did was uh, my name is Dolomite. Yeah, he actually did. That was a good movie, too. Go check that out if you haven't. Right, he killed you know, it is, that. It is X-rated. Now, I will tell you, if you haven't seen the original Dolomite, you need to watch that first because you're going to hate this if you haven't seen the first one. He was acting just like Dolomite, which is what made this amazing because Dolomite didn't. He, he wasn't he a good actor. Which is but, why Eddie was such a bad actor. But it was on. It was intentional what shows Eddie Murphy's range. Yeah. To intentionally act lot. poorly, that's, that's impressive. Yes. So now I need a Love and Basketball Part 2. Um, I need... What you need now? Because they can do it. They can Eddie do Murphy? it. No, not Eddie Murphy. Just in general. I think that we should I need Harlem back. Knights. That would be hard to I do. I need Harlem Knights. That's what I need in my life. That would be hard to I do. I need Sunshine back in my life. Sunshine, she's she bad. She still is bad. I seen her. But Harlem Knights, Love and Basketball, Love Jones, I need all that uh, Spike Lee movies. If, I don't know if he's going to do that, though. But he's not. He's not. But he got game. That'd be nice to see again. I'm... Well, anyways, <laughs> comment down below what remake you guys want. Because this proves that you can do it well. So bring him out. You ready to go, Zamunda? But before we go, we have a little surprise. We got a surprise. We got a little surprise. That's right. We doing a shout out. We got the idea from our fellow YouTuber and I'm gonna say friend, I call him a friend. Um, Gemini, him and his channel and his wife on his channel, his um, their child. Super cute, but he gave us a shout out a couple of weeks ago and it just made us feel so warm and so happy. We didn't know that was coming. We I'm didn't. not gonna lie. I was like, oh, oh. It made us so hype. 
it, it did. I got. We reposted and everything on our Instagram. Go, go check it out. Yep. Go follow our Instagram if you haven't. Also, also go follow him. But his IG. Yes, we'll put down there. His YouTube. Yes, we'll put everything on here because he is our first shout out. Him and his wife. We love your channel. Um, we can we we always say all the time that we can tell that they do research. They do their research for their channel for sure. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Can tell they have a business mind when it comes to YouTube also, and that's how we are. Um, and we just generally like their content. Let's <laughs> all hand this off. Again. <laughs> what is my favorite color? Your favorite color is purple. Yes. One for me. That one was really simple. That she one just was. felt bad for me. I did. I, I don't. <clears throat> His Gemini, content. I like what you did with that. The uh, what it's like to have a YouTube channel from a beginning YouTuber. That was genius. I see what you did there. I see what you did there, so I like mm -hmm. that. Yes, so we love their content. You guys go follow them. You love Kayla Mar, you'll love him and his channel too. He, and his he's, wife. He's, he's part of Kayla Mar family. Yes. So whether you like it or not, Gemini, you're part of the family, bro. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> so yes, we're gonna start doing shout outs, and that's our first shout out. Um, go follow, like we said, and you never know which video or at what point in our videos we will be putting a shout out. Not only that, there's gonna be some changes coming. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even know what the changes are. Yeah, I'm about to say, what's what we doing? <laughs> I'm but there's some like changes it coming. It's, okay. It's, 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 Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. So just get ready. And if you are supporting us and we just love what you're doing in general, or, you know, we gonna shout you out. Yep. Because we yep. just love the feeling that it gave us. And we want to give y'all that feeling too. Yep. Because as, as beginning YouTubers, we all need to stick together. We need to encourage each other. Yes. And not even if you're is... not a YouTuber. If you just a supporter in general yeah. we're gonna shout you out yeah yeah because I, I can definitely tell you this youtube thing is it's, it's not easy it's not easy um, it's not guys and for you we guys thought we knew we didn't know yeah. <laughs> we and didn't for you know. guys just to continuously comment like subscribe and it's really nice and just the things that people say and the dms we get and everything and the gifts we got this hat it's just amazing so we're gonna shout y'all out because y'all deserve it he loves his hat. I do. I do. So that is our surprise. And like he said, we have more things coming up. So be on the lookout. Kay Lamar, we about to blow your mind. We are. But until then, like, comment, subscribe. Put that bell. Out.